So today we're going to start working on a T34 um, braking system issue. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at this component right here. Last time I drove this thing around the yard, uh, the linkage system did uh, lock itself up and I lost the steering on that side. So uh, today we're going to try to figure out what's going to happen or uh, what's wrong with it, better said. Uh, to do that, we're going to have to remove this here, which is the air filter, and then basically get into the bottom and uh, see what's wrong with the linkages. It's this pivot for the linkage system. So take the pins out and uh, get that out of the way and then uh, undo these guys here. And then it might just pivot enough to... Uh... So... Yeah, it, that's, that's actually a good part on here. It, everything are just uh, pins. And honestly, we should take them apart anyways. And see what's the state of it. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, it is actually locking. So it might be just uh, dirt on a, on a pin. Hmm. Let me get a, uh, a wire brush and try to uh, get the burrs out of it. But yeah, then, see, that's, that's the thing with stuff like that. You, you never know. And it can, uh, it can derail your plans quite quickly. Comparing now, the work I've done on a 78, on a 88 gun and on the T34, it's actually, you realize how low the quality was during the war because simply the skilled workers were fighting on the front on both sides. So uh, I've, I've seen some of the bolts, it looks like they've been done uh, literally by hand. And uh, yeah, you realize that uh, skilled people were, were not available. It's that simple. But I think what I'm gonna do right now, change the plans. Maybe if I can, yeah, see? This whole thing moves quite a bit actually. And it feels like, uh, that's, a, that's, a funny, that's a funny thing here. Because I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that. Okay, so yeah, if you look, there's two linkages, right? One and two. This one here will um, press in or out. I don't know how to explain it otherwise. The clutch that's in, in here, in this drum. So in here, the drum, the outside of the drum is the brake drum, but the inside of it is a clutch. And that's this lever. So that will uncouple my track from the engine, from the power line. This guy here actually does the stopping movement. But you have to realize that this in the same time can be um, turned on by uh, the hand uh, controlled lever, but also by the foot pedal. And they do not cancel themselves out because you have to make sure no matter what happens, you still have to be able to stop this tank using the foot brake. So that's why this linkage is very funny and any kind of uh, C-spins or uh, um, warp pins, they, they, they can cause quite a bit of uh, an issue. And then the next part, which is really funny, is this here. This here, if you look, there's two pins. And basically what they assure is then when this is working, this band clamp rams around this, uh, this drum, but it actually matters the way they, they wrap around because it's, it's like a filter wrench, right? The filter wrench, if you put it backwards on, it will not spin the filter off. So this has to work forward and in reverse. And that's, that might be actually our culprit. It's a good possibility that uh, the pins are seized here. Okay, so basically the conclusion is uh, we need to take that block out 
and figure out what's wrong with it. It's so deep in the body that it's not, uh, it's not worth trying to uh, do kind of on the fly repair. Plus, uh, such an old machine, you can expect stuff like that to happen. So, yes, yeah, so now, now we're going to have to decide uh, how, how deep we're going to get into it. But uh, my, my opinion is we need to get to the bottom of it.